Hello everyone, welcome back to AJ's Week in Web, January 25th, 2019. Set off the fireworks, call in your friends, Ionic 4 is here. This week we have some exciting news coming out of Ionic Frameworks Camp. They finally released Ionic 4. Maybe I shouldn't say finally, it was a big reworking. They've moved everything over to Web Components, which they're claiming is one and a half times faster at least than the old Ionic Angular 3 performance. I myself am a huge fan of Ionic because I'm using it for AjanP.com's main website with a Hugo theme and I think it's going to be the next iteration in where the web heads by using web components. Next up is Animista. It's a place where you can go and play with a collection of pre-made CSS animations, tweak them and get only those that you will actually use. That's straight from their about page. It's pretty neat, you can go in and choose a ton of different animations, select them all, combine them together, and you can download the animations file and drop that into any of your web pages that you'd like to use it on. Again, this is something that I'm using on ajonp.com in the subscribe area, adding a heartbeat animation. Launchpad for RxJS is a product created by Cedric Solis. He is a freelance developer advocate and specializing in motion graphics with code. This is a pretty neat little site that he's created where you can check out all of the RxJS functions and it will drive into the documentation for them. If you're a visual learner like I am, this is huge because you can go through each one of the RxJS functions visually and check them out. Neutralino JS version 1.1 released this week. If you haven't heard of this project yet, it's a competitor to Electron and NWJS, but it's claiming that its package size and memory allocation is much smaller. I probably won't be able to jump on board myself until the macOS support comes, but it's in the development milestones. I like to include a learning tool in each week in web. This week I'm featuring Function Camp. If you're like me and you have a little one at home or if you're just getting into programming, they offer a curriculum with HTML, CSS, JavaScript, jQuery, React, Redux, SAS, HTTP. The list continues and it's a really simple site that you can fill out HTML forms and run them in real time to get results. Last up on our list this week is Redux Starter Kit. They released version 0.4. If you're not familiar with Redux, uh, often there's a complaint that configuring Redux is too complicated and so Redux Starter Kit is the solution to that. It will help set up all of that boilerplate code that no one wants to do. If you have a new topic that you'd like me to check out, just hashtag AJWeekendWeb on Twitter.